Let's get to Sarah Malik now. She's chief investment officer at Nuveen. Sarah, welcome. I, maybe you can describe to me, are, are you a little more worried now, a little bit less so, looking at the stock market's uh, activity and, and some of the things Chris was just highlighted as we look to close out the first quarter here? Hi, Kelly. Markets are staging a relief rally because no news is good news for the financial sector. But what we're current concerned about is that soon we'll shift our focus back to inflation and the FOMC. We're worried that the baton will get passed from rate hikes to a recession. We're focusing on three areas to determine what that recession might look like. That's any future banking system turmoil, um, FOMC and economic data. But our bigger picture here is that the market likely remains in a trading range until we get more clarity here. So we won't be surprised if the S&P goes up to 42, maybe 4,400, but then likely back down under 4,000 to the 36, 3,800 range until we can get clarity. So has the sort of odd twist and turn of the past couple of months where financials and energy are out underperforming healthcare too, and now we have tech uh, in the leadership. I mean, is that then a positioning you would stick with or how does that affect your strategy here? We came into this year with technology as one of our top sector picks at our outlook, um, but technology, you need to be selective. So we're not talking about the mega cap stocks that have heavy advertising exposures. Those will be cyclical in an economic downturn, but areas such as software, we like ServiceNow as a company, and semiconductors coming off the Intel analysts say, you know, could be more upside there, there not only with PCs bottoming, data centers, centers bottoming, and also all the AI uh, noise out there and, and rhetoric. So it could be good for those areas of technology. Financials have had bigger picture issues even beyond the last couple of weeks. First of all, the sharp increase in interest rates is going to pressure their net interest margins. So even though rates can sometimes be positive for, for financials, not at this rate of an increase. And now with the turmoil that we've seen, we expect tighter regulations around capital and liquidity requirements and more competition for deposits. Bigger picture, also a tighter consumer credit cycle going forward. That's bad for the consumer and yeah. increases the chances of a recession. So does that have you then a little bit more worried about some of the retail names, discretionary, you know, those kinds of, I don't know then where that leaves you on like the industrial cyclicals um, and, and where you, you might go if you wanted to hedge the, the recession outcome that you're kind of warning about or describing. Our focus overall is on quality, so not as much just growth over value, even though growth should outperform if yields start to moderate due to recessionary concerns, but quality across the board. So companies, for example, that consistently grow their dividends, they have strong balance sheets to survive during a recession. These are companies like Linda, even in the material space. You can find those in many areas of the economy. Look for those companies that have those quality characteristics. Those will be the survivors during a recession. If you had to bet, would you say, you know, that this, this kind of market rally keeps going and until, you know, something breaks or something bad happens? Or do you think we're going to end next quarter uh, looking back at, at a much more difficult period than Q1? Technically, uh, given where the markets are in the relief rally over the banking se sector, there's probably more near-term upside. We do get PCE tomorrow, though. That could be at or below expectations because one of the key uh, risks of inflation has been wage inflation. That has about half the weight in PCE than it does in CPI. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that come in as a, as a positive number that helps the bulls tomorrow, keeps this market rally going for a while until we start to see our longer-term view that inflation will stay reasonably strong for a while. Interest rates will stay high for a period of time. That's going to have implications and slow the economy. We're just one year past the first rate hike. We really haven't seen the implications of monetary tightening yet. Uh, absolutely. Sarah, good to check in with you. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Kelly. Sarah Malik with Nuveen.